thought I'd share them with you, and then if you have any input, please tell me. Alright, thou shalt not learn by tabs, and the second one is thou shalt not refer to things as high to and low to. Okay, you really should learn by tabs if you really want to progress very quickly in violin. Um, tabs are sort of a crutch for people because tabs don't really make you learn the musicality of what you're playing. It's just kind of like fingerings and stuff like that. Um, I learned pretty much like that basically by referring to things as high twos and low twos. And then when I started doing a lot of orchestral playing and chamber music playing, it was really unacceptable that I was only referring to things as high two and low two and in fact you're playing notes. And if you ask pretty much every other instrumental list that plays a different instrument such as piano or trumpet, they refer to notes as C sharp, not high two. So I definitely would recommend that. Um, commandment number three is do not learn by Suzuki. I have a feeling this is going to kind of be a touchy subject for a lot of people. I learned Suzuki for eight years and I've been playing for almost 12. And I really don't recommend playing by Suzuki because Suzuki was invented for the purpose of learning by ear. And as you all know, um, I pretty much learn everything by ear, hence why there's really no sheet music for anything that I play because I learn it all by ear. Therefore, um, when you start playing really professionally and in really complex orchestras, if you are just looking at things as hearing and you're not reading the music, um, it created a really big big problem for me a couple years ago because I couldn't read music at all. I was learning everything by ear and once I would get to sight read something, I would have no idea what it was because I had never learned like that. Number four, thou shalt not learn your vibrato wrong. I am guilty of this as well. I learned my violin vibrato very, very badly. I had a lot of wrist problems for myself. Very hard problem to fix once you've learned it and you get in the habit of it. Number five, thou shalt not learn to tune with a tuner. As I stated before, ear training quality is very important. If you use a tuner and you don't know what an A sounds like, it is very hard to have good tonal quality. Um, I know in Suzuki they have on the CD the four strings like G, D, A, E as a four, first four tracks and that's really really bad because it teaches you not to learn by hearing the fifths and the relationships when you play an A and an E and then an A and a D and a D and a G. Thou shalt not start playing without tuning is the sixth one. That is very important. Um, if you play something and you play it without tuning, you get it in your head that that's the right way it sounds, so then you're going to start playing out of tune very frequently. Number seven, thou shalt not use French polish. French polish does not mean it's from France. Um, if you get your violin or viola even, or even a cello um, checked on at a violin shop, Ask them if their polish has um, French polish in it because French polish has a tendency to dry out your wood and take off the varnish. Um, in my cleaning video, I didn't mention that and I had messaged a bunch of people that were asking for it. And um, you should really be careful because it will eat off your varnish eventually if you keep doing it. And it's just something that you need to be aware of. There's many different types of polishes that aren't French polish. So that's definitely something you should pay attention to. Number eight, do not or thou shalt not tune loudly. This is important too because when you do tune loudly, it's just kind of like music etiquette. When you're tuning, it's not the best sound, so you shouldn't be playing really loudly because then people will think, well, that's how you sound to tune. Number eight, do not tune loudly. This is important too, because when you do tune loudly, it's just kind of like music etiquette. When you're tuning, it's not the best sound. Number nine. Thou shalt not practice without a metronome. This is so important. Rhythm is so important. And once you practice something wrong once, you're going to play it wrong almost all the time.